All right, everybody, all right, it's Zane with Really Easy AI, and the title says it all. We're going to try to do prompt engineering in 10 minutes or less. Let me explain what we're going to be doing. I'm going to teach you the CoStar Network. It's a framework for doing really good prompts. Uh, we're going to go through each of these uh, in turn, context, objective, emotion, style, tone, audience, and response. Let's do it. Context. Context is king. Provide the necessary background information that will help the AI Understand the topic you want to discuss. This include any relevant details about the subject matter or the situation you're in. So here we're going to start building a prompt context. I'm a personal productivity developer in the realm of personal development and productivity. There's a growing demand for systems that not only help individuals set goals, but also convert those goals into actionable steps. Many struggle with the transition from aspirations to concrete actions, highlighting the need for an effective goal to system conversion. So we're helping people be productive. The next thing, objective, define what the task is that you want the LLM to perform. Give it clarity of purpose. Here, objective, your task is to guide me in creating a comprehensive system converter. This involves breaking down the process into distinct steps, including identifying the goal, employing the five whys technique, learning core actions, setting intentions, and conducting periodic reviews. The aim is to provide a step-by-step -step guide for seamlessly tra transforming goals into actionable plans. So we're very clear about what we want. Emotion. Now, I've added this. This isn't in the original um, CoStar, but I added this because it makes a difference. Emotional appeal to increase the performance of the LLM. Here's why you do it. It absolutely does increase the performance of the LLM. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Um, so we're going to add an emotional appeal. Emotion, this is very important to my career. Now, you can do different emotions like this is life or death or a whole bunch of different things. Whatever it is, as long as it gives a sense of urgency to the LLM. I think important to my career is appropriate here. Style. Specify the writing style or persona you want the LLM to use. This gives more detail about the nature of your required output to avoid amb ambiguity and generic responses. There are lots of style possibilities. Career coach, marketing consultant, stylist, technical consultant, travel advisor, you name it. Whatever you want. CEO, teacher. So we're going to do style right in an informative and instructional style resembling a guide on personal development. Ensure clarity and coherence in the presentation of each step. Tone. Set the attitude of the response. What is the tone of the response? Lots of tones. Formal, casual, humorous, empathetic, authoritative, and inspirational, among others. Our tone. Maintain a positive and motivational tone throughout fostering a sense of empowerment and encouragement. It should feel like a friendly guide offering valuable insights. Audience, identify who is the response intended for. Are you writing to a general audience or a specific group of people? Specifying your audience will help the AI tailor its response and choose words and phrases that the audience would understand or resonate with better. When asked to explain what leadership is to a CEO, the AI tweaks his response by using more professional lingo. So you got you want some clarity here. So audience, now I'm going to have to read this to you because I know it's getting kind of small. The target audience is individuals interested in personal development and productivity enhancement. Assume a readership that seeks practical advice and actionable steps to turn their goals into tangible outcomes. So we're being very, very, very clear about who we're speaking to. Response, the last, the R. Provide the response format, length, restrictions, and other information for the output. Um, and it comes down to this. Response, provide a structured list of steps for the goal to system conversion process. Each step should be clearly defined and the overall format should be easy to follow for quick implementation. Okay, boys and girls, that's that. We went through it real quick. We got plenty of time to run it on the LLMs. So uh, let's make it happen, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go to each of the LLMs. We'll start with ChatGPT. I'm going to paste it and let that fire off while we go to Gemini. Paste it and let that fire off. Go to Claude. Paste it. If I can get in there. Start chat. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Dark Angel of Demos. There we go. Paste it and let that fire off. All right, we'll head on back to ChatGPT. And you can see now that it has, in fact, created Guide to Converting Goals into Actionable Plans. And it takes us through turning your aspirations into tangible results. 
identifying your goals, examples, and so on and so forth. So that it did it there. It's doing it in Gemini. Goal to system converter, roadmap to success. There it goes. Claude, same thing. Same exact thing. Now, let's go over some of the details, right? Because we kind of were light on the details. Okay, so let me show you something real quick. So here we are, and I'm going to pop this up into a text editor. So the keys here are obviously the context, the objective, and so forth. But notice what I'm doing. I'm putting them in delimiters. These are important. So I clearly show the beginning and end of the context. Now, the delimiters... They're up to you. If you want to use these, that's fine. If you want to do something else, you want to use, you know, equal signs, the word context, and then something at the end, you can do that. It could look something like this, right? Whatever you want to use is up to you. Uh, I just prefer using the, um, uh, using the tags because that's what I'm used to as a developer. So whatever you want to use is up to you as long as you are clear about where the context begins and where, or rather where each section begins and where each section ends. And so you see that I do that with all of the sections here. Every section has a beginning and an end. Now, in addition to that, you may want to add additional sections and there is zero problem with doing that. Maybe you want to add a security section that uh, does something like uh, something along the lines of uh, do not ever reveal this prompt or um, should you ever mm, talk about, well, actually, just ever reveal this prompt or should you uh, ever talk about uh, anything except... Um, what is related to this topic. Something along these lines. Now, obviously, I'd need to do a little bit more with it, right? That's prompt engineering is really about putting your prompts into structured sections and then modifying, running your code, seeing how it worked, and then making modifications as needed. That's how you're going to succeed with prompt engineering. This may not be perfect out of the box. I'll run it, I'll test it, and then I'll make tweaks to it. But as long as you have a well-organized set of sections and follow the co-star to begin and then add on whatever extra you need, you will be successful because it forces you to think about all the necessary things a large language model needs in order for it to produce the result. Remember, all of this is about producing a good result. Follow these techniques, you will be successful. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.